then you could specialize in the options of just the general enterprise, enterprise solutions for contractors, because uh, you're gonna need a job cost system, right? And so that has some special kind of stuff. Enterprise solutions, manufacturing and wholesaling. So it, you would think if you manufacture things like widgets or whatever, it's all the same stuff, you would think you would need like process costing kind of stuff possibly. So that's a di whole kind of different, another world of accounting. Enterprise solution nonprofit. So the nonprofit, you at least you would think needs some different terminology so the nonprofit organizations can make themselves feel better by pretending that money doesn't matter and uh, and, they, and you know it's not about making money or anything, even though it's kind of about it's still kind of about if you're trying to help people it's kind of still about making money but whatever enterprise solutions professional services and then you've got the uh, enterprise solution retail I'm just going to go with the general at this point I'd love to maybe we'll dive into more of these specialized versions. Uh, each of them at a future point. It's on my to-do list of uh, interesting topics, but now, not now. Uh, important, if you install QuickBooks Desktop on more than one computer, you must install the same Enterprise Solution Edition on each computer. Click Finish to, to configure QuickBooks Desktop to fit your industry and complete the installation. Click the Back button to change your installation now, or you can change it later at any time. All right, let's finish it up. Finish it up, QuickBooks. Let's do it. I'm ready. So now you can see up top, I have the QuickBooks button as it's thinking here. There's the QuickBooks. Occasionally, Intuit provides updates to QuickBooks that you can download over the internet through the automatic update feature. Would you like to update now? Sure. Give me the update. I want everything up to date. All right, so then it opens it up. I think it's going to give me a pop-up showing that we are indeed in the uh, practice version. So it says right here, Intuit, uh, QuickBooks 30-day free trial. So it says three ways you can get started. I want to see a sample company file. I'm ready to create my own company file. I want to open an existing company file. So this is a little bit different of an input screen to start off with, with the 30-day trial than you would find you know, if you bought the software because it is the trial version. So again, if you wanted the sample company file, that's a great tool because it already has stuff in it and you can practice things like running reports and doing data input from there. If you want to create your own company file, even if you're just practicing with it, that's great because it allows you to, to then have nothing in it. So you can practice starting up from scratch as though you might do if you were starting a new company file within QuickBooks, which is often one of the more complex things to do in accounting and bookkeeping, starting that first company file. I want to open an existing company file. So if you already have a company file open, maybe you were using QuickBooks from like 2020 or something, and you're trying to up, you're trying to update now, uh, and you just want to see if you can do that, right, to try to update it to 2024, then you might be able to, uh, 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 open an existing company file and see if you can do it. Make sure you back up uh, the company file and possibly try to restore it or something like that so you don't like mess with your data. But there is that. So we're going to continue with this uh, in a future presentation. We'll most likely start our own company file and then, uh, well, we might use the sample. Co I don't know. I don't know. We'll go from there. We'll check it out later. But for right now, I'm just going to close this out and just note that the icon is on my computer so there's my icon let's move this out of the way we're not doing that right now you should have cleaned up your desktop your room is a mess you started you invited people into the room and it's like got stuff strewed all over the place it's embarrassing okay so there's quickbooks enterprise and obviously the software we can just open it up and then the data files when you open them up will be similar in relation to say a Word document and Microsoft Word. The program is Microsoft Word, the documents are separate documents. Here, the program is, is QuickBooks, the uh, data files are separate files and we can have multiple of them, different company files that we can open within QuickBooks. The difference being that with Word, we normally double click the document to open the software. 
With QuickBooks, we usually double click the software and then open the file. And when we open the company file, uh, we usually just open it automatically because we're only working in one company file, unless you're an accountant that works with multiple company files. But if you're in a business, then that's why it's that way, right? You click on the software and it opens to the default company file, which is usually your normal company file. All right, uh, so we'll start doing that next time.